This website is called Graphs and Tracks. Um, I'll put the link in the um, resource page. It is a fabulous um, reference for understanding how um, position, velocity, and acceleration versus time graphs get made, and um, how changing uh, the ramp or the direction a ball is rolling will change what the graphs look like. And you can just um, grab and drag up your um, ramp. You can change the initial velocity, and then you can click uh, either position, velocity, or acceleration, and then roll the ball and see what was what's going to happen. So I'm giving this a positive initial velocity. So this ball um, hopefully will go at least part way up the hill. So we'll see. Oh, oh, that was terrible. Okay, let's give it a little bit more of a push. We can give it a good heft up the hill. And you see here's the position versus time graph that it made here. All right, that was not great. But um, I'm going to put this back to here. So I have this very steady hill. Um, the positive direction is to the right. And so this ball will be rolling down the hill and speeding up to the right. So we would expect the acceleration to be in the positive direction or down the hill to the right. So um, I would expect to see the velocity gradually increase over time because that velocity of the ball is rolling rightward or in the positive direction. So when I um, pick my initial velocity zero and I roll the ball, we'll roll it a few times, we'll watch the position versus time. See that ball rolls and the position versus time is a nice sloped line because it's speeding up. Our velocity versus time, constant um, increase in the velocity. That constant increase in the velocity or that constant slope of the velocity means that I have a constant acceleration which will be in the positive direction and we can see that right here. So how is this going to change if my ramp is now backwards? So um, the positive zero is here so increasing direction is still towards the right. So if I start my ball over here at 500 centimeters and that ball rolls down the ramp, that ball is now going in the negative direction so down the ramp is going to be negative. So I would expect to see my velocities to be negative and increasing and my acceleration to be negative as well. Um, my position starts off positive, goes faster and faster and faster towards zero. So it starts off positive, goes faster and faster and faster towards zero. So let's see um, if my position versus time graph looks like what I expect. Perfect. Faster and faster and faster towards zero. Um, the velocity, again, will increase steadily in the negative direction, meaning that I will have a negative acceleration. Now, I could start my ball um, down here at the bottom of the ramp at zero initial position, and I give it a, give it a bit of a shove. So when I give this ball a shove, it's going to go up the ramp and back down the ramp. This is very similar to a ball that's being thrown up in the air, which travels up and comes back down. Okay, up the ramp, down the ramp. Um, so this point here is the point at which the ball turned around at the top of its motion. So that's the point where the velocity is zero or the slope of that line is now zero. So if I look at the velocity, remember it's traveling in the positive direction to start with. Starts off positive, becomes zero. Notice zero is basically at the top of its motion and then travels back down the ramp in the negative direction. The important piece on this is that this ball's acceleration doesn't change because the slope of this line does not change. So the slope of this line is always constant and negative. The ball's always being pulled down the ramp. It doesn't matter that it's traveling in a different direction, which means this acceleration will always be in the negative direction. This acceleration is always going to be down the ramp. That's the direction that the ball is being pulled.